Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and Walmart has smartphones now for $20, uh, very inexpensive, and an article on Lilliputing the other day indicated that you might be able to uh, use these phones as tablets without ever activating them, so I figured I would try it out and see what we can get from this one. Now this is locked to uh, Walmart's service here, the MyFamilyMobile.com, so you can't use this on any other carrier but uh, what they have set up. However, uh, if it does get on the Wi-Fi, you could use Skype and some of the other phone services instead. So this might have some potential there. The big question is whether or not it will work without being activated, which we will be testing here uh, in just a second. So here is the phone itself. It's again, 20 bucks, so don't expect anything uh, fancy here, but it does have a camera on the front and back. We'll explore all of this in my main review, which you'll find at uh, LAN.TV. So let me power this thing up real quick and uh, see if it actually lets us do anything without having a SIM card. Normally they want you to buy the SIM kit to go with this thing uh, in order to get it to work. So uh, we'll have to see how that works. It looks like the battery is dead, so let me uh, plug it in and we'll try to boot it up and see if it works. So as it turns out, it did not have a battery installed on it, so it was caught in this boot loop. So you have to uh, install the battery yourself, but this is it here. So we're going to pop this thing out real quick and get that uh, hooked up. So we'll see how all of this comes together here. So let's go and pack the battery. A very simple phone, actually. This is the Pixie 4 from Alcatel, which is the uh, phone that they chose for this one. I believe it has a standard definition display. I wouldn't expect much out of the way of performance out of this. Uh, it does, though, have an SD card slot uh, in addition to its SIM card slot, so that's pretty cool. So let's put it back together here. Now, I purposely did not buy a SIM card because I wanted to see if I could just get it working without one. So uh, let's see what happens here. So now we are booting up. I'm going to plug in my... Uh, cable here again just to make sure I still have uh, some juice going to it and we will see whether or not we have to uh, get an activation going with this thing first. So let me let it boot up and we'll come back and see what we have to do. All right, so it looks like you do not need to have the phone activated in order to use it. So I was able to buy this for $20 off of uh, walmart.com and I've got myself here a rather slow but functional uh, mobile phone that of course will only work on the cellular network with Walmart's network, but you can use it with Wi-Fi of course and uh, do everything else. Now I did check to see if there were any updates on this one. It is running Android 6.01, uh, but the last security patch was August 1st, 2016. I did try to find uh, updates through the update mechanism here and did not get anywhere with it. So we will uh, see about uh, any future updates with this. I wouldn't count on it for the price. Um, but it does seem to be a fully functional and slow Android phone here. And we'll be doing a full review on my main channel very shortly at LON.TV, where we'll look at the cameras and uh, overall performance and everything else. I'm going to let it sit here and do all its app updates and all the other stuff because it is feeling pretty slow, slower than it probably is normally. Uh, so once it is done with all of that, I will uh, begin my evaluation and you'll have a full review on my main channel again at LON.TV. So stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters including Gold Level supporters Mark Bollinger, Brian Miller, Mr. Morse, and Cody Falk. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.